Hey guys, Chris here. It's the weekend, I got the chance to go out and hit a couple antique shops and a couple car shops. One shop, I didn't really find anything. Um, they're usually a little high on the prices, but sometimes I find something in the singles. I didn't find anything today. Antique shop, found a couple, some fun ones. It was just, this one is really kind of neat. And then I got my pile of stuff I got from another car shop. So we'll go through those in a second. We'll do the antique shop finds. Um, Princess Leia, Star Wars 1977. I uh, used as a kid, I used to have this whole, my long story short, my neighbor gave me a whole box of these and I have no idea what I ever did with them. But I had like the whole, almost the whole set and so, but here's the beginning of my set again, I guess. But Princess Leia for I think like two bucks. So I had probably too much, probably, I don't know. I have no idea, but it was just kind of cool. Fine, Princess Leia for two bucks. Um, for the O's fan in me, Frank Robinson uh, wasn't always great, manager great kind of thing. So I always like collecting, hitting something from the O's for the O's collection. And then the next two are actually really cool. This one, because the guy had a high stack. Not, I don't want a massive stack, but a nice good stack of old 70s hockey cards and got a Phil Esposito in pretty good shape, except for that bottom corner there. It's in pretty decent shape. And then a all-star, or not all-star, NHL assist leaders with uh, Orr, Esposito, and Bucky. The Bruins were kicking it, killing it that and that, that year. So it's got the rest of the assists leaders that year. Kind of cool. Which is kind of, I think, crazy is he had just as many assists as he did goals. So it's actually pretty crazy that year. Also, this one always gets me because he's wearing, like, plaid striped pants. <laughs> just, I don't know. I always think that's funny from seeing that one. So those are some pretty cool finds. I think it was, like, uh, 9 or 10 bucks for this one and, then like, 6 or 7 bucks on this one. So those were pretty neat finds at an at antique shop. Then all the stuff I got from a card shop, I think it was, like... I don't know, like 20, around 20 bucks is what I paid for all these. I got some packs that I'm going to use for some three-pack Thursdays I'm going to mix in, I think. But I'll save those for later. Um, start off with some of the artifacts, because I'm a sucker for artifacts. I don't know what it is. I just like the artifacts. So I got a Dougie Hamilton out of 50, number two out of 50. And then got some Emerald, um, Logan Couture, Seth Jones, and a Mike Madonna. I think I've got like four of these already. Three or four of them. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it. But I'm not sure if they're all the 499. But I know I got a couple in the 499. And then one or two in another number. Another lower numbers. Next, um, some baseball. I think that's all the. Yeah, that's all. all it. I got two for my Orioles collection. Gunnar Henderson. This is the Topps Chrome. I think it's from the Heritage set. The Chrome Heritage, I'm not positive. And it's so hard to read the date on there. What is that? That's 20, 2023. So that's pretty cool. And then got the Jackson Holiday Bowman Chrome Prospect Power Up, which is kind of cool. It's like a pinball machine in the background, which is really neat. So I thought that was really awesome. Those are like a buck or two bucks a piece. I can't remember exactly. Then the next ones were kind of not sure if I'm going to keep them in my collection or pass them on to some people that are bigger fans of the teams. Uh, first couple are some Buffalo. Got a Alexander McGinley 91-92 um, upper deck, and it's actually autographed. It's Well, it looks like his... I kind of took a quick Google search of the autos, of his autos. It looks a lot like the stuff he signed from that day like he's signed afterwards or whatever it looked really looks really good just kind of cool to get that for a couple bucks um got a rasmus dalene dazzler and then a uh synergy exceptional futures paterka kind of a cool one it was a, something cool different seed uh, at 899 so just threw that one in there in the pile that was an extra buck and then a 
Titan, Titanium. I'm not sure who makes who this was from. I don't know if this is Panini or who this, yeah. Pacific Trading. I'm not even sure who they, who makes them. But it's kind of cool. Steve, Steve Geiserman. So that was a neat one to see. I haven't, I remember seeing these before, but I don't remember. I don't know if I have any more of that stuff in my collection, but it's kind of cool to grab one of them. And then the old Tops. Or not tops, the pinnacle certified. It's Ezerman, the peel here to see the foily, but if you were smart, you never peeled them. So these were always kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure who's got pinnacle now, but that was kind of neat. Uh, Mitch Marner out of, what was that, $9.99 gold? Kind of just, I don't know, just an extra one. Um, I didn't pay three bucks. He had three bucks. He just said something else, and I forget what it was. But that was just a fun one to add. And then the fun one, really fun one, was the Fill the Thrill out of 99 green. Uh, exceptional stars. Just, who doesn't need a fill, some Phil Castle in their collection? So. so let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Bye.